Hello guys, uh, it's been a while. I've actually haven't uploaded anything here for about two years, I think. Um, today I've decided to uh, finally write some boss crossing cards. It's been a while since I've done it and I thought, well, new year, let's do this right. Let's write some um, postcards. But the first address is for Michaela uh, in Germany. She doesn't have much information on her profile. Um, she says she's a teacher uh, for some languages. She likes books, films and theater and loves traveling. So now I'll take a look at my cards and I'll be right back. So it took me a while but I found some cards that might work. First one is this one. I've got it actually from AliExpress. So that one is a pretty nice one. It's a normal format as well. Um, I'm thinking about this one or maybe this one. Um, it's a KLM Dutch uh, Airlines um, card. So again, travel theme and also because I'm sending it from the Netherlands, it has uh, extra purpose, I guess, extra meaning. I have a whole bunch of very pretty shaped cards. They are so pretty, but they are quite small actually compared to a normal size postcard. As you can kind of see, I, I hope they're they're pretty small. Uh, very nice. I think I would send this in an envelope. Uh, definitely not just like that. But I don't feel like sending this one in an envelope. I think I will send this one. I think that's a nice card. Um, so let's do this one. And the first step I'm going to do is look at my uh, washi tape collection and see if I have any nice washi tape to um, decorate this card with. Here are some washi tapes I could find. Um, so let's just get through them first. Uh, this one is like an antique uh, globe map kind of uh, washi tape. Uh, then I have this blue one which is uh, with uh, gold, gold foil. Also quite nice. This one is uh, all kinds of things actually, like an airplane and uh, tickets, airmail. I really like this one, but I think it just doesn't work with the colors I'm working with on this card, but I'll think about it. Uh, then I have this one with a whole bunch of like compasses. Is that the right word? <laughs> I guess. And then I have this gray uh, world map card. So um, since the card has these colors, I think this one is just too um, colorful, I guess. So these four. I think I might actually go with this one. Uh, I think I have enough left. <laughs> Let's hope so. And I actually might add this one as well. I think that's enough because if I would go all around this I would have very little space for my message and for me personally I love reading the message I think messages are much more important than the image on the other side uh, so I'll take a look at my uh, stickers I think I want to add some sticker like right here or maybe here I don't know yet I'll go through my stickers find some stickers that I like and then uh, we'll continue As you can see, I'm not a pro. I really uh, am not good at decorating things. I'm a little bit better at decorating snail mail, but postcards aren't just my thing, I guess. Okay, so now I'll take a look at my um, collection of stamps and pick some stamps. You can't see it, like I can't really show it. So I always try to find stamps that would match the card perfectly, the front and the back. 
Uh, and for this card, we are in like traveling theme. This one of the beach. Then I have this one of one of uh, Dutch islands. So now what I have to do is I have to count how many stamps I need because uh, like this one is a very Dutch stamp with number one, which is from this year worth 91 cents. And these ones are 44, 54 and 39. And I need to have an amount of one euro 50 because that's how much the stamp, uh, like the postcards uh, have to have to uh, be sent internationally. So I did some counting and I came up with these three stamps. Uh, so this one is 91 cents, uh, this one is 54 and because that's still not enough I'm adding 10 cents which makes it actually like 5 cents more but I don't have 5 cent uh, stamp. So we'll use these three. I'll uh, put this one first. And for these two, I need water. And for that, I'm using an airbrush, airbrush, I mean like aqua brush, um, which is normally used for water coloring. Uh, but I mean, it's water you place in it. So I can just uh, use it to uh, wet in my stamps. Also, I need to use one of these priority stickers. I really hate these. They're big, they're ugly, and I really need to um, get some something that's smaller and maybe a bit cuter. Uh, I've learned that you don't actually have to use these specific ones as long as it says priority. Uh, it should be fine. Uh, at least that's what Postanel told me on Twitter. <laughs> Uh, yeah, as you can see, it's very big. So like, where am I supposed to place it? Usually I try to stick on this side. But this would really take up a lot of space for the address. Mm, yeah, I guess that's fine. Um, now I'll uh, write my message and then we'll off camera write the address and then the card will be ready to be sent. To write my cards, I like using a black pen. And for that, I'm using my Micron pens. Uh, these are waterproof, that's why I really like using them. Just in case the car is being delivered when it's raining or anything, uh, I really like using waterproof pens so that my recipient can actually read the message. So this is the message I uh, managed to put on the card. Um, usually if I have some space left, I would add my Instagram name, which is happy underscore postcrosser. But here I don't have any space left because I already used quite some space here. So now I'll put the address and the card will be ready to be sent. So let's uh, take a look at the next recipient and the card I'll be sending to him or her. Okay, so I got my second address and when I was clicking on receive an address, I was like, for sure this one will be to Russia and of course it is. So um, this card is going to um, Anastasia from Moscow. She likes to find out every cultural, culture, country, tradition, language. She would like to know a bit about me, my city, or what I'm interested in, any tradition or of my family, or any interesting day in my life. I really like when people put a lot of um, information on their profile because it really helps to decide what to um, put in there. So I found some cards, um, like this one. Uh, it's with Dutch bitterballen on it. It's really difficult to explain what bitterballen is, but it's very Dutch and she actually liked traditional dishes and drinks. So I might send this one or maybe uh, wooden shoes, which is also a very Dutch thing, uh, could work out if I decide to write about my about like Dutch traditions maybe. 
So I have two series of cards, the Euro European Union uh, card and greetings from cards. Um, and this one actually has clogs on it as well. And I was actually looking for a card that would have Amsterdam or uh, the bridges in Amsterdam, but I couldn't find any. This one actually has information about the bridges in Amsterdam, which is, I think, a really nice card. So I'll take a look at the cards she has already received. And if she hasn't received this one yet, I might send this one. And then I, she also liked owls, so I found this one with an owl. And Giethoorn is a Dutch city um, with like, it's basically Venice, but in Dutch. Uh, a lot of water, a lot of bridges as well. Um, so um, I'll take a look at the cards she has already received and then I'll choose a card that I would like to send. Okay, I decided I will use this card because I actually have something nice to tell about the Dutch wooden shoes. Uh, so yeah, sometimes like it helps to think about what you want to write on the card and then it it kind of could make it easier to come up with which card you actually want to use. So I'll use this card. I don't think I have any shoes, washi tape or anything. So I'll take a look at what I have and uh, we'll see where we go from there. And I just really love this washi day because look at this, it's all different patterns and actually here it continues, what, oh yeah, because here I have a cow <laughs> and then uh, cheese and some bikes and then it starts again, oh here it starts again as you can see. So a whole bunch of different patterns, um, not a very boring wash tape, I think it looks really good. I got this one from AliExpress actually, it took me a while to find something Dutch, but I absolutely love this one and I will definitely uh, order it again once I run out of wash tape. Uh, so I decided to skip on stickers and um, for the stamps. I'll be using some flowers because I thought about flowers when choosing stickers, but I couldn't find any. So I'll be using these two. Uh, this one actually contains real seeds. <laughs> I don't think they will come out because it, the stamp is already 13 years old. Uh, and also the 10 and one of the these. And this one already has priority stickers, so I don't have to use that hideous big sticker. And I like putting the more... Um, full, let's say full colorful prints on the side and then add the less colorful ones to the, to more to the middle. I think I'll put this one here and the 10 cents here. I really like bigger cards because they give me some space to put the stamps, which are usually a lot. Uh, as you can see, I've put four stamps on it right now. Sometimes one is enough if I have international stamps, but those are usually pretty boring. So I have some, some pretty ones as well, but they don't match the themes so far, so I won't use them. So... The stamps are there, washi tape is there, we are not putting any stickers. So right now I'll add the message, don't forget to put the ID and then we'll write the address. So since she wanted some words or sentences or anything in other languages, I also put Dutch and my native language, which is Lithuanian. Sometimes I like to introduce myself, tell something about myself, so I decided I would do that here a bit as well, uh, kind of trying to explain why I written Lithuanian words as well. The 
third card is going to uh, USA to a woman who likes buildings, all kinds of buildings, churches, museums, whatsoever. So these are the three cards I found that I thought would be nice. The first one I thought of was actually a church in my city, but I didn't have any church cards anymore. So uh, this is a water tower, which is really I mean, that's a really nice building, very original. I think I'll go with this one, but just in case, I have other two cards. This one is from a city in the Netherlands, all the way in the south, uh, Maastricht, and this is a popular square in there. It's called Freithof. And I also have this one, uh, which is like a um, very little um, porcelain delft blue uh, buildings uh, for a uh, washi tape I'm thinking of I don't really want to do the same one as this one so mm, I could go for uh, the little buildings actually for one card I won't put any washi tape for stamps she likes original stamps now i'm not sure what original stamps are um, i mean these ones are better than the international dutch stamp that's for sure so again using these two and also using this one which is um, a child stamp that sounds weird uh, basically children in the netherlands uh, sell stamps once a year and uh, there are every year there's a different kind of stamps that they send and a part of the money uh, you pay for the stamp uh, goes uh, to some kind of um, organization i'm not sure actually which one was it was this year but i'll use these three and i'll stick this sticker now that i've actually seen this stamp i thought it would actually look really good for the person who liked uh, bridges because this one actually contains a bridge on it but it also has little buildings, so I mean, it kind of works for this uh, person as well. And again, using this stamp so I don't have to put a huge uh, sticker. And usually while I decorate the, uh, the postcard, I also try to come up with a story uh, that I want to write on the card. And again, this person didn't give me much information, so um, that really makes my job more difficult. <laughs> I guess I'm a bit lazy. Anyway, um, I'll try to come up with something now and I'll write this postcard. And sometimes I want to add some uh, interesting facts about the billing in this instance. So I'll actually Google a bit more about uh, the billing because I don't know much about it. Maybe I can find the date when it was built or um, I know that right now there are people actually living in the building, but uh, like before, I think it was a water tower. I'm not sure what a to water tower is. I think it like s collects water or something. I don't know. So I'll take a look at that first and then I'll uh, finish writing the card. And also the other two cards I'm sending. And that's it for uh, this video. Um, I hope you liked watching it. And also, um, if you would like to see any more videos in the future, just let me know. I'm thinking about actually um, filming how I put up, put my snail mail together, which is so much more work than writing a couple of cards. So. Um, let me know if you would like to see that. You can just uh, DM me on Instagram. I hope you enjoyed watching this. And see you next time. Bye.